All right, if you're watching this video, that means you're about to go get your CDL permit and you're about to go to DMV to pass the three written tests that you need. Now, I'm so glad that you're watching this video because I'm about to let you in on the secrets that you're gonna to need to know in order for you to pass your CDL permit test on the first time, all right? So the first thing that you must understand about getting your CDL permit, first thing is you have to actually purchase your permit, all right? Depending on what state you're in depends on what your permit costs. To purchase your permit, you must have six points of identification and purchase it at DMV. Second step, once you've actually purchased your permit, that gives you access to go take the written test at DMV. In many cases, you're gonna go around to a different entrance to take the, the written exams at DMV. The first test that you must take is general knowledge, okay? General knowledge is gonna be 50 questions. The way all these tests work is once you get 80% of the answers correct, the test is over, okay? So out of 50 questions, in this case, you're gonna to need to get 40 correct. Say you get the first 40 right, that's it. You pass, the test is up. Say you get the first 11 wrong, that's it. You can't pass anymore, test is done. The thing you have to understand about the test is, once you answer the question, it's gonna let you know right then and there whether you got that answer right or wrong. So it's gonna keep a tally mark. Now, the secret weapon that I tell all my students is this. There's a skip button there, okay? Use that skip button to your advantage. What does that mean? If you press on the skip button, it's not gonna mark you wrong, it's just gonna move that question over to the back of the list. So what I tell all my students is this. As you're going through this test, or any test, only answer the ones you're 100% sure on. If you're not 100% sure, click skip. What's gonna happen? It's gonna get put to the back of the list. So now let's say we're at the general knowledge test. We have 50 questions total. Say you're gonna go through all the questions and you're only gonna answer the ones you're 100% sure on. So even the ones that you're 90% sure, 80% sure, don't even try, just skip it. So say you went through all 50 questions and you have 35 questions answered correctly. You have zero questions answered incorrectly because you skipped. That means you have 15 questions left. Now out of those 15, in order for you to get 80%, all you need is five. Now the odds are in your favor, right? Which means now you can kind of walk through those 15 questions that you have left, answer the five that you feel are the best. And it even gives you some wiggle room where now you can mess up on a few and still be okay. It's a cool trick, right? So don't forget, when you're going through this test or any test, if you're not 100% sure, press on the skip button. Tip number two that I'm gonna tell all my students is this. You guys are gonna have a good amount of time to take all these tests. There is no time limit, okay? After you take the general knowledge test, the examiner is gonna ask you, hey, are you ready to take the next one? We recommend you say no, all right? Why, why do we say that? We recommend going back to the back of the line or going back into your car, reviewing the next section, whatever section you wanna take, whether it's, general, whether it's air brakes, whether it's combination vehicle or passenger endorsement, Review that section in your book to make sure that you're fresh. Get back into line and then redo that same thing that we talked about with the skip button and make sure that you pass that test. Now, there's some people in here that are not gonna take my advice and they're just gonna try to bang out all three tests at the same time. Some people pass and then some people fail. And a lot of cases what we've seen is people will pass the first two tests they leave the easiest test for last and they fail that easy test because over time they got cocky and they started getting sloppy. And that's not what we wanna see for you. Now, in this case, say you went to take the test and you fail. You have to wait one full week before you can go again. Now, do you really wanna wait that week? I don't think so. So spend a little bit extra time now to make sure that you're prepared before you go for the real test at DMV, all right? So, two tips, use the skip button. Tip number two, make sure that you take enough time to review in between tests because you don't wanna fail this thing. Don't get cocky, follow and study hard. Now, once you've passed your test, you're gonna come on over to our school and then we can help you out even more. We're gonna get you ready for that two and a half hour long road test. But this is Jonathan speaking here from Driving Academy and I'm here to help you out to make sure that you get your CDL license because our mission is to help one million people get to their road to freedom, and you're gonna be one of them. Thanks, and good luck.